All right, so here's how things have gone. Australia's run started with a big win over Chinese Taipei and then China to land in the gold medal game. New Zealand beating Thailand in the semifinals. They have, uh, they've gone undefeated. This is, I mean, what else could you ask for? What else could you ask for if you're from New Zealand or Australia? Most people pick these two to be playing for gold. They're rivals. They've got a history here at the Asia Cup. New Zealand winning gold back in 2018, ousting Australia along the way. Now they'll lace them back up yet again. A tough, tough Australian squad. Both have gone undefeated. New Zealand's played more games. I think two more games. Yet and still, neither one of them has have tasted a loss yet. So here's the squad for the Aussies. Can they get back to goal? Alex Wilson, Sarah Maley, Lauren Mansfield, and Marina Whittle, the top bucket getter for the tournament. Australia, who took gold at the 2015 Oceania Championships, the 2017 Asia Cup, and the 2019 Asia Cup. Coming off a... Uh, a, bronze, a silver medal performance in 2022. New Zealand has not taken a medal since 2018. So they hungry, they stomachs are rumbling. But you can draw it up better than this. Bragging rights on the line. I'm sure everybody's watching close from New Zealand and from Australia. Time to buckle in. Yeah, here we go. Crystal Ledger Walker, Ezra McGoldrick, Lauren Hippo Light, Sean Papuke Robati. The four represent the Tall Ferns. They got metal on their mind like Magneto. Looks like Australia is going to get the ball. Classic matchups between these two. And over the last several years, as Yu Yin Su and Tatsuo Nagoshi will officiate this gold medal game for the women. This is one that we are going to thoroughly enjoy. They've been asking for each other. They've, each play, each team's players have been, you ask them who they want to play, it's like, of course, it's Australia. Of course, it's New Zealand. Check out the shooting efficiency from the top scorer. Marina Whittle. She is the real deal, not a mirage. Ezra McGoldrick. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't going for no silver. All right, the practice shots are over. It's time to get to the real thing. 10 minutes to gold here at the sixth edition of the Asia Cup. I'm Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice of 3X3. Can you tell I'm having fun? Oh, yes, I am. Countdown's on as we bring in this gold medal game from OCBC Square. Let's get things squared away. The Aussies start with The Rock. Marina Whittle, dribble move through the legs. Oh, you fancy, huh? Basket weaving as she opens up the scoring for the Aussies. Stepping through and deed up. McGoldrick making things difficult, but Whittle is not going to be denied. Now McGoldrick trying to work on Whittle. Decides to give it up. Crystal Ledger Walker misses the mark that time. Whittle is pushing the back. I like the matchups in this one across the board. You got tough guards. Ledger Walker doesn't back down from anybody. Whittle has been answering the bell. All tournament long, great defenders, great scores. This is going to be a treat. Wilson treats him. 
with a layup. And the Aussies are out three zip just like that. Ledger Walker to Papuke Robati. Three in the key. She gets put in handcuffs. Great offense, great defense there from Maley. They like this action, this weave action. Looking for a mismatch. They like this matchup. Whittle. Oh. She was packing a punch on that drive. Doesn't get the bucket. That's going to be black ball. Yeah, I think somebody got a foot on that. I think these countries have good, uh, good football teams as well, right? Forgive me. I'm from America. Crossover. Ledger. Walker. This is the shorty. And Papuke Robati gets fouled there. So Papuke Robati. At the line, she's been outstanding for New Zealand. And she gives some string music right there. Uh, right back at you. One ain't enough, she needs two. 5-1, Australia in the driver's seat. Here comes Hippolyte. Hippolyte misses the lefty stroke. Maley with a high crossover. That one's going to go begging off the iron. Hippolyte moving quickly to the right, swings it left. McGoldrick drops it off to Sharn, and Sharn gives it back. She said, go to work, go to work. Goldberg is able to draw the foul. McGoldrick. Yep. That goes pinging off the iron. So the Tall Ferns offense has been MIA so far. In the meantime, there's a strong layup right there. And a chance for a two-point play. Lauren Mansfield. Mansfield a lefty two. And that touches nothing but cloth. That's Australia. It's out of the blocks fast. Ledger Walker, tough shot right there. That was choice. Meantime, it's Whittle. Absolutely not. You don't see that very often. It's like she had a double in the game. Whittle has played nearly perfect for this Aussie team. On oh, a step back from Ledger Walker, not happening that time. Maybe that's, that's a foul on the floor. So New Zealand with three team fouls and two points. Got to get that offense going. Oh, goodness, what touch. Oh, Crystal Ledger Walker, well off target. Whittle with a soft touch. She got cocoa butter on her fingers. 10-2. McGoldrick elevates, and she's going to get that score over Maley. Maley hands the mail right over for a step back attempt, but uh, no make for Mansfield. And now Whittle gets whistled for the foul, doing battle with Papuke Robati. Time for a T for a TV timeout in a seven-point game. Australia playing with a point to prove. Lazarus on the mic trying to get a feel for who 
who everybody is uh, cheering for. Both of them have some, some really nice support here. Be quicker than that. New rule introduced last year. Once a player initiates a dribble with their back to a defender, you got three seconds to pass or shoot. So not three in the key, but three seconds with their back to the defender. Oh, she uh, threaded the needle. Can Whittle get it to go? she get another try. And that time, it's a no. Oh, that time Whittle called for the foul. So New Zealand, you haven't seen their offense missing like this. It's a credit to the Australia's defense here. But that doesn't mean it's not going to appear, especially with Crystal Ledger Walker here. She can do something. Okay. So the Tall Ferns seem pretty intent on feeding down low. They think McGoldrick has the biggest advantage. She's out now. They expect Sean Papuke Robachi to get some touches here, too. Ledger Walker, not that time. The stroke ain't stroking yet. Stay towards that, 10-3. Pull up. Yeah, she's banking here in Singapore. Mansfield off to a good start for the Aussies. She's going to get called for the foul right there, though. Great individual players. There's a number one score for each team. It's on the court, Whittle with 33. Crystal Ledger Walker with 28 for New Zealand to lead the way. Bati with that last bucket for New Zealand. She's also got 28 points, seven points per game average. Maley, top five score, 27 for her. They have been filling it up like the tanks on E. It's Whittle will have a chance to add a little more to her point total. All right, no more plays on her last name. Fine. All net, all wet from the strike. The Aussies trying to put this one in the bag. A gold rig with the turnaround. No. Maybe. Tough shot, missed it. Oh, couple of misses. Widow, faded, faded, faded. Off the square and in. the line not a problem at all and that's an easy breezy lay for Ledger Walker oh Mansfield she is balling 16 to 5 Mansfield saved her best for last what a final she's having it's McGoldrick. Oh, she had traveling plans. 16 to 5. New Zealand is struggling. Timeout on the floor. 4.38 to go. Going for gold. Somebody's going to have to settle for silver. Last year was Australia settling for silver, losing to China. New Zealand was not playing for a medal just a year ago, so they have made some improvement, at least in that regard. Oh, Mansfield couldn't land that one.
Crystal Ledger Walker delivers the package to the cutting Papuke Robati. Count it up. Still a 10 point difference. Crystal Ledger Walker trying to set up some two woman game. But I think, yeah, Sharn gets called for the foul there. Each team with six fouls apiece. Oh, oh, for the pass. They're going to talk about that one later. You remember that pass I gave you that you should have made? That... Meantime, McColdrick puts it in. Nice assist there from Ledger Walker. Maley drops the shoulder. She ain't scared. She gets it back, and she's continuing to fight. Oh, man. Ledger Walker now going left. Ledger Walker, flotation device activated. Oh, look at the activity, the effort. Wilson, nice new add to the Aussie team this year. Papuke Robati, she's new to the Asia Cup as well. She gets hacked, she'll shoot two free throws after a TV timeout. In a 17 to eight game, the Aussies lead has continued to grow like a pregnant belly. They're that good. Nice setup on the replay from Crystal Ledger Walker. They've needed a whole lot more than that. McGoldrick has, has played a great tournament. But right now, with the 17 to eight lead, the Aussies have no walkers. Seventeen-nine. Free throw number two. We'll get it down to seven. Not insurmountable, but they are going to have to find an answer for Widow. Uh, no. Uh, the answer is no. It's Crystal Ledger Walker falling away. Really high difficulty shot right there. Hippo light. She's denied. Nice dribble move, Ledger Walker. Yeah. Nothing happening there. It's not just the offense, it's the defense from Australia as well. Such a tough squad. That one up, but doesn't go down. Goldrick down to the post office. This is the mark. There's Wilson. Oh, and a rush to the cup. That was a flavorful scoop. 19 to 10, Australia is giving it to New Zealand. Oh, drop the dime. Loose change from Ledger Walker. Nope, that one's a miss. So. There's Whittle. No. Good defense. Credit Australia. Ledger Walker, who's been, who had been unstoppable to this point. She had been the most potent crystal since Breaking Bad. But they have locked her up right on cue. Ledger Walker fires the two. 
And Mansfield has really emerged here in the final. Wilson puts the Wilson through the iron, and that's the last shot that will earn gold for the Aussies. They say let's hit the frog and toad. They're going to get out of here with a gold medal, winning it over their rivals, New Zealand, who will take a silver medal. A beautiful performance from start to finish for Australia as they are living their life like it's golden. Great performance, great performance for Australia. From the qualifying draw to the podium. Gold around their neck to match their jerseys. Marina Whittle leads the way. They take Asia Cup gold. We'll get it over to Tristan Lovellette, who's with Annalie Maley right now. Annalie, congratulations. How does it feel to be Asia Cup champion? Oh, that feels so good, eh? I feel so good. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of us. And I just want to make a quick shout out to our extended squad back home. Like, we don't do this without all their preparation. They're a part of it. It's not just us that are on the court, but it's everyone that's a part of that squad. What makes us, the team so great? Is it the chemistry? Definitely the chemistry. Like, we're a bloody family. We're the kangaroos. For those that don't know, that's the indigenous word for kangaroos. So, we're the kangaroos. We stick together. We're a family. It's what we are, it's what we bleed, it's kind of, I, I guess you can see it, yeah. It's a pretty awesome feeling to win on the floor with your best mates, so. Not only were you dominant, but you played with a lot of style. Was that a, a, something you guys were already determined to do, to play, entertain the crowd? I think that we just played as ourselves, you know, like that sort of uh, competitive spirit, the way that we get after it, the skill level that these ladies over there have, like it's, it's unreal to be a part of. And, the way Loz shoots the ball, the way Marina gets to the basket, the way Willie breaks people's ankles and pins people on the glass. Like, it's just unreal to be on the floor with them, yeah. And pretty great way to finish it with Alex hitting that two-pointer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'd expect nothing less than her. She, called, she said good night, <laughs> hit that shot. <laughs> it was good, I mean, it's fitting, it's fitting. Congratulations, enjoy the title. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, Singapore. <laughs> I tell you what, if she said goodnight, that is absolutely Ladies poetic. Gentlemen. That's better than any line I could ever drop in any tournament. So, as I mentioned before, a gold medal at this year's Asia Cup is huge because they have earned a ticket to one of the Olympic qualifying tournaments. Australia will have a chance to continue their Olympic dream. The road to Paris 2024 comes to Singapore this year and they went out and earned it. What a stellar performance. Credit all, all the players who came out here and laid it on the line with their uh, country across their chest, but nobody repped it quite like Australia repped it. New Zealand will take the silver. And, uh, while they put forth their best effort, I don't know if there was any team out here that was gonna stop Australia's run. Marina Whittle is very well in line to what I think will get her an MVP. Look at that finish from Wilson. And after that, the game was finished. Bang, bang, Aussies, goal.